What's going on? What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we have a very special video. So guys, today we got a very cool video in my opinion because you guys have been asking for this forever. Like I have never acknowledged it. I've been on high demand this topic, this comment that's been posted all over my video. You know, what's the best fishing line? Like what kind of fish line is good? What uh, pound test is like versatile for pretty much all fishing? So today I'm gonna be talking about What's the best fishing line and why? Why I would go with this line over other lines? Why I would go with this pound test over other tests? You know, comparing lines that are very expensive, the lines that are very inexpensive, and what's the difference and is it gonna be worth it? We're gonna cover all the topics today because this is obviously a question that you guys are wanting to know or a lot of you guys are really wanting to know and I wanna help you guys out and teach you guys some more. And maybe this, you guys can take a lot of value out of this and go, you know, spend your money wisely on fishing line and get the right stuff just so you don't have to go and you know, buy all kinds of fishing lines. So let's go ahead and get this started. To start off with guys, if you guys are enjoying these tip videos, be sure to smash the like button, be sure to comment below and subscribe and hit the little bell and leave a comment below on like what type of tip videos you guys wanna see because I love doing the tip videos because I know that you guys take a lot of value out of them. And it's also with my hectic schedule, sometimes I don't get to fish all the time. As you guys know, I go on sprees where I'll go fishing, you know, like five out of seven days a week. And then I'll like take a week of break. And it's not like it's a break, it's because I have so much going on. I actually just opened a new business and maybe I can talk about that later, but I, I, I'm in a lot of stuff right now. I'm trying to get all that situated. So I've been very, very busy and I actually start school tomorrow. So that's gonna be rolling. So let's go ahead and hop into this video on the best fishing line. And I'm gonna start off with what pound test because a lot of you guys are wondering, you know, what pound test would you get if you only own one rod or you only own three rods? You know, how do I pick depending on what baits I'm gonna be throwing? Honestly, I use 12 pound for the longest time. I've recently upgraded in the past two years, I'd say to 15 pound. And that's pretty much what I use. I got tons of these thousand yard spools by Seaguar. And I promise you out of like seven of them, five of them are 15 pound because that's like the most versatile line in my opinion. You know, it's not too light, it's not too heavy and 15 pounds is honestly perfect. And if you guys, I don't know what kind of brands you guys are looking to buy in, but Seaguar, the line's actually fairly thin. It's not like it's thick. I know I've tried some other brands. Um, I believe it was P-Line. P-Line's not a bad line um, by any means, but it was a little bit thicker. Maybe their newer stuff um, is actually thinner. I don't know, it's been years since I've used that. Um, but I've experimented with, with a lot of lines and the best line that I've actually used the past four years is Seaguar. And I know you guys are probably gonna say, you know, this is a little bit out of my price range, but you guys gotta think of it this way. So you can go buy, you, you know, you can go buy a lot of line, you can go buy line from Walmart, whatever you're wanting to buy. And it might be pretty, I mean, pretty fairly cheap. So you're probably gonna pay $10 for, you know, a big spool of line and it's, and it's gonna be cheap guys. And what I mean by cheap, so, when you're looking at fishing line, I mean, you're just looking at it and you're like, oh, this line, you know, it's just, it's just fishing line. It doesn't really matter. But honestly, it really does because you're going to save money in the long run if you get the quality line. It's just like anything in life. life anything in life. Like if you buy something that's quality, it's going to last you longer. That's just what it is. And what I've experienced with Seaguar is I really don't have to change my line out as much. I'm not saying you have to go get Seaguar because that's the last thing I'm doing, but I'm giving this as an example. And Seaguar, you know, I've used the Seaguar line for a while. This is actually in VizX, which is the yellow label. I've, I've used this line for literally four years, five years. And I, I mean, I leave it on my rod for a while. I mean, for weeks. Like I don't really have to change it out much. You know, if you're gonna use a lot of cheap line, it's, I'm telling you, it's gonna go bad quick. I promise you. Like I've been there, I've done that. I've actually bought tons of Walmart line, like the super cheap stuff. Like in the past, you know, when I first started fishing. And what I've noticed as well, like if you're learning how to throw a bait caster, I'm just telling you, the certain line can really make a difference as well. Like just casting wise, depending on how far you can cast, depending on how smooth it's gonna cast, depending if the line's super thick and it's gonna be hard to cast, and it's just not gonna get distance. I mean, there's a lot to go with fishing line and that's why it's very important. Also the stretch in the fishing line is important. If I, like I said, if you, you, got, you got braid, you got mono, you got fluoro, mono, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I rarely use mono. Mono is something that you could use on top water. Um, mono has a lot of stretch, keep keep in note. Invisex by Seaguar is fluorocarbon. This Invisex by Seaguar is actually the, uh, it has a lot of stretch. Out of all the Seaguar products that are fluorocarbon, this has the most stretch. Um, I did a lot of research on this and ended up figuring that out after actually using it for a while. But if you're gonna, if you're, so 15 pound, that's what I would use. I'm making this video all over the place. Let's make it simple. 15 pound is basically the most versatile line in my opinion. So if you had to choose from 
braid, fluoro, and mono. Mono has a lot of stretch. I rarely use it. Being honest with you, if I use it, it's gonna be on the top water. But recently, all my top waters I've thrown, I throw, you know, if it's a frog, obviously it's gonna be on braid. If it's a regular walking bait, I'm throwing it on braid. I've thrown everything on braid just because braid lasts longer in general, so it's gonna save you more money as well. But fluorocarbon, most versatile line out there, 15 pound. That's pretty much what I use, guys. If you guys are looking at brands, I would recommend investing a little bit more money into some more expensive line. Um, just, just for the fact that it's gonna last you longer. It's probably honestly gonna pay, you know, the same price by the time with how long it's gonna last. Um, Cause I, I've been through tons of line companies. I, I've tried all different lines. There's some that I like, there's some that I don't. Some of my friends like companies that I don't. Personally, it's just personal preference. I've just gone with them because I know it's legit. Like that's what I've used forever. And if you're looking for a little more inexpensive, you can search around, but just, just promise me one thing and you don't go to Walmart and just buy those cheap little spools for like $2 because that line is so crappy, guys. Like that line is so crappy, like you don't wanna put that on your reel. At least go buy something that's like $10. Um, it's gonna be worth the extra couple bucks. I promise you, it's gonna cast better. It's gonna be more smooth. You're not gonna sit there and backlash. Cause I've had like a crappy line on my reel and I sit there and cast and just backlash like crazy. Cause it's just cause the line's so crappy. Um, it's not tight and it's not, it's just not there. It's, a, it's just not right. And also, I've been with, I've, I've tried a bunch of line companies where I've actually broke off a lot of fish. And I'm going to be honest with you, I haven't broke off many fish at all. This past year, I actually broke off a 10-pounder, but it's because I was being stupid and I had a fray in my line. That's a whole other story. You guys can watch that video. Yeah, I haven't really broke off many fish in general, but I've, I've noticed, like, if I try other lines, some of them do break easier. I just noticed that. Um, like I said, this has a good bit of stretch as well, so that helps. But let me know what kind of tips you guys want about fishing any type of tips guys if it's bait tips you know line tips rod tips real tips anything casting tests whatever you guys want to see you guys tore up the concept z video thank you guys so much everyone's tearing that up smashing the like button leaving comments that was great that's what i want to see on this channel guys i want you guys to take value from these videos and that's the most important thing i hope you guys are grinding every single day working as hard as you can at everything in life guys not just one thing not just two things everything in life put 150 percent at it because there's no point in putting 50% in anything guys put 150% try your best make something out of it you only have one life guys you only have one life live it to the best that you can overall on the line 15 pound fluorocarbon is my favorite what I use is cigar that's what I use you don't have to go get cigar but that is what I use and that's what I personally recommend because I've used it for five years but overall guys thank you guys so much for the support it really means the world keep on grinding if you guys want to check out I'm not wearing the merch right now. But if you guys want to check out the clothing, I'll pop it up on the screen. And the link's in the bio. You can go check that out. Go check out some of my recent videos as well. And I would like you guys to check out the last video I actually uploaded, which was my 2018 goals. I think that is one of the most important videos I posted on my channel because I want you guys to set goals for yourself this year so you can go achieve them. I think it's very important that you set a goal on number because you're going to go smack that goal and go even further past that goal. I promise you. Thank you guys so much for the support. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to comment what you guys want to see next. Be sure to subscribe. Hit the little bell. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please like this video. Please comment below your goals for 2018. I want every single one of you to comment at least one goal. And I want you guys to go execute and achieve that goal. Don't be normal. We're going to change the world, guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll catch you guys in the next video.